So here's where we left off last time. Um, we got the NAPE server information and loaded a WMS layer of our NAPE imagery. Now I want to load in the watershed data. So I have those data uh, here. And what I want to add in is I'm going to add in a watershed boundary. And this should line up with our imagery. If not, we might have to make some changes. Good, it lines up where it should. Um, I'm just going to zoom to that. I also want to add a hill shade and a DEM and some streams. Okay, so let's let everything load there real quick. Okay. So there we have all our data loaded up. We haven't done anything to symbolize these yet, and that's just fine. We're going to do our symbolization and our, you know, kind of our composition in Inkscape. We just need these data to be exported um, in the same relative geographic location. So what I want to do now to export these is I'm going to come down and create a new print layout. I'll call this one export. It's not super important. And what I want to do is this gives me like the, the layout view. If you use Archive, this is analogous to the layout view for QGIS, but it's really where I can compose a map and put together a map. Um, it's very much like a, a graphics uh, organizer and illustrator. I'm going to click on this button here, this kind of blank page looking button, and this adds a new map to the layout. I'm just going to cover my whole layout with this map. So you can see that it's rendering the map now. And there we have the map. I'm just going to make this so it's the full size of the page. Okay. And what I can do here um, is decide which layers I want to or don't want to use in this map. And I can adjust things just a little bit. And so I think what I want to do is I'm going to want to zoom out just a hair. Um, so I'm going to come over here and maybe I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Come back to my map and uh, I can refresh that. I take a second here. Let's refresh that. Or I can change the scale here. Maybe make this 100,000. Hopefully that's not. Yeah, that looks good. Um, I can always zoom in on this later, but I want to make sure I have enough base map in the background. Okay. Now. First, all I want to do is export the base map. And so I'm going to come back over to my layers view and turn off everything except for the nape imagery. Come back here, um, click refresh, and it should um, remove those layers. Sometimes it takes a minute to refresh. There we go. Um, so now we just have the name. And I'm going to click this button up here, which is export as image. And so this gives me a warning that I might have some unexpected behavior with WMS server layers. Um, and it may not be printed. I'm going to close this. We'll be okay, I think. And I'm putting it in this composition folder. And I'm going to name this um, Nape Full because it's the full extent. And I'll click Save. And I'm going to use just an output resolution of 300 DPI for everything. And so I will also click uh, 
save here. We won't do any cropping to content. Uh, this should be just fine. Okay, that's going to save. Okay, so once it's done, you'll see this uh, message that I successfully exported. And now I'm going to go back to QGIS. I'm going to turn off the base map, and I'm going to turn on the hillshade. I'm going to go back to my composer. I'm going to refresh the view, and I'm going to export this the same way that I exported um, the, the NAPE imagery. Export as image. And I'm just going to name this HLSD for Hillshade as a PNG, save, 300 DPI. I'm not going to crop, and I'll click save. And once again, we have our message here as, as that's exported successfully. I'm going to go back and do this also for the digital elevation model, the DEM. And we'll go back to our composer, we'll refresh it, and we'll click export. Uh, as PNG, and we'll name this DEM, and it'll be a PNG, and we'll click Save, and Save. Okay, and that's exported now. Okay, now let's go ahead, and you're, I think you're getting the hang of this, uh, Watershed Boundary, let's turn that one on, and go back to our Composer, and refresh it. Now this one I'm going to export as an SVG. SVG is a scale is a stands for scalable vector graphics. And this is a this is vector, not raster. Raster is made of pixels, this is not. Um, and we'll get this warning that there's some problems due to deficiencies in the uh, Qt SVG library. Um, we're going to export like this and see if this works okay. So we'll say close. Um, and we're going to call this boundary.svg, and uh, we're just going to leave everything as the defaults here. We'll click save, and we can see that's completed. And now we're going to go back, and we'll do the same thing for our streams, and uh, export as SVG. Ignore the warning and we'll call the streams, save, save, and that's done. And I really hope that that updated before I did it I didn't refresh the thing in the viewer, but it did after I saved it, so so hopefully we're good to go. So that's how we can export those, those data layers. Um, moving on, we'll go through how to get those into Inkscape and manipulate them in Inkscape. Um, so don't close this composer, leave this composer open. Don't adjust the scale. We want things to stay the same because we're eventually going to need to add a scale bar. Um, we don't want to, we want to have everything relatively the same when we add that scale bar in.